I'm here with Peter Goldstein, the founder and CEO of Emmis Capital. Emmis Capital is a boutique investment fund that specializes in bridge funding for pre-IPO, IPO, and public companies, as well as companies seeking to uplist on prestigious exchanges, such as the NASDAQ, where we are, as well as the New York Stock Exchange. So, Peter, welcome, and tell us what motivated you to start Emmis Capital. Thanks, Jane. Great, great to be here with you. You know, this is something that, so I've been in the capital markets for 25 years now. And there's been a, a niche and really a void in the market for this type of capital for as long as I've been in the markets. And it, it plays a role by basically being able to provide last mile capital. It could be a bridge to an IPO, it could be a bridge to a financing, an M&A, some special event where the company has a shortfall and doesn't want to pull money out of their operations. And so there's great market demand and not a lot of access to capital mm -hmm. from this type of a financing. Yeah. It's very specialized. Uh, we work with companies that are really in that kind of critical tipping point mm -hmm. and where it's not, we don't want to bring in a dilutive event of capital nor a toxic type of capital. Right. Uh, and so it fills a very unique need inside of the marketplace. Yeah. So that was the first reason. Mm -hmm. The second reason is that I really wanted to be able to democratize mm -hmm. this investment space. The investors that have been in this space are largely institutional investors, some family offices, some hedge funds. But what I have access to are quality companies that are looking for this type of capital. And so we've created a Regulation D offering, which allows any accredited investor to participate in what was typically limited to institutional and often monopolized yeah. by institutional investors. Yeah, no, I was saying the rich were getting richer, so it's nice that it's been expanded to more people. So what is your investment strategy? It's really very simple. We, we identify companies that are in this you know, position where they need access to the short run capital. Uh, we diligence them, we vet them, uh, and then we work with them primarily on a convertible note structure, which would be a promissory note, and it's a high yield instrument. So that's where we really make our money is on the yield. And then we have some equity kickers in the way of common stock and warrants. Mm -hmm. And we have the option to be able to convert. Uh, but this is, if you look at the marketplace now, there's a strong run on debt and convertible structures because it gives the ability to companies to move quickly to oh. go to the next step. Mm -hmm. And we're doing that with a focus on the small cap and the micro cap segment. So these are the future stars yeah. who need access to capital for that next level of transformational growth. Sure. Um, how do you vet the companies? How do you choose which ones to invest in? We do a lot of diligence on, on really making sure first that, and these are companies that typically are on their way to be public or you know, have been, let's say, undervalued public companies. So we wanna make sure that the financial reporting and the audits are in place, that there's an investment banker in place, and then we go through our traditional due diligence as if we were any other investment fund to verify and vet that the opportunity you know, has the ability to be repaid on the event that's pending you know, in the near term. Now you mentioned uh, the convertible notes and the warrants. I mean, how are these typically structured? Promissory notes. Promissory notes, okay. Six months to 12 months. Mm -hmm. And so we're also putting them out as secured notes. So we're protecting the position of the investors. And it's really a very clean instrument so that it's set up with the ability for the company to satisfy their needs and for the investors to get a yield where everybody wins. Yeah, and your fund's management team. Tell me about that. So it's my, I self, myself, I was the founder. Okay. Uh, and, and I have a 35 year experience as an entrepreneur. I've taken my own companies public. I've advised multiple companies on their own pathway to go public. I was a licensed investment banker. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I've seen every side of the trade, Jane. Mm -hmm. Founder, advisor, investor, mm -hmm. board member. And I see the niche and the void that we can provide with the market intelligence. Mm -hmm. So that's my role. I have a partner, his name is David Lowenstein. David brings the financial controls and diligence. So he's the gatekeeper, if you will, from a decision-making standpoint. And the two of us have a team of support that allows us to focus on sourcing, vetting, and then structuring and executing on the deals. And how has the fund performed? Really well, I'm super proud of it. You know, we started this in 2022. And as you know, it's one of the worst markets in the IPO market in 2023. And we had a gross return of about 40%, uh, returning 29% to our investors. It was really phenomenal in this environment. Mm -hmm. and, and we did that by being able to not commit to converting into stocks that are trading down. And a lot of the IPO investors aren't able to get those types of returns because the equity is under pressure after the opening. So our model allows us to get those returns on a yield 
and then have the ability to participate in the upside. Yeah, and how do investors, how can they put their money in, and how do they get paid? Yeah, so it's a very simple structure. Uh, with the democratization I was sharing with you, we've created and restructured, so like a good entrepreneur, I tested this with a founders round. Uh, I put my own money in and a number of investors, and after the performance, we restructured this to make it wide open for other investors. So it's a $50,000 minimum, and it's a minimum two-year hold. The life of the fund is four years, and the investors get a 12% dividend. So every quarter, mm -hmm. we give them a return on capital and a dividend of 12%. Okay. Any closing comments for people that might be interested in learning more about MS Capital? Uh, I, I love building a community of entrepreneurs, and that's my vision with this. My vision is to have, we're limited to 99 investors. Mm. So my vision is to have up to 99 entrepreneurial-minded, sure. high net worth investors that are interested in supporting the growth and development and profiting on emerging growth companies. So MS Cap, E-M-M-I-S-C-A-P, is the website and all the information anybody would need is there and feel free to contact me if you'd like to further. Okay, Peter, thank you so much. Thanks, Jim. Thank you.